provide a spare motor. We're on a flight today doing more testing on this Polini 202. It's pretty turbulent, but we'll do a little video. So, last time I went to fly, I made some adjustments on the frame. Uh, one thing I did was I moved the harness up just a little bit, and uh, I made some adjustments on the harness itself, and uh, re-ran some straps um, so I can have the machine higher up on my back a little bit for doing ground handling. And so, I flew it, and it's absolutely freaking amazing. Yeah, so Christian flew this earlier. Whoa! <laughs> He's coming in for a tip touch. I'm not paying attention at all. I'm trying to make a video. Anyway, uh, Christian flew it earlier. He had a blast. He was getting absolutely catapulted into the sky. So let's talk about the engine itself. Uh, a few things you gotta understand. First of all, it's a flow bowl carburetor engine, and that makes it very, very fuel efficient. And it makes the power band really, really smooth, much more so than wall bow carbs. This is true for most water-cooled engines, because they usually come with a flow bowl carb. Now, uh, there are drawbacks uh, to flow bowl carbs. They're much more difficult to tune, you have to replace jets inside, you have to drain the fuel every time. They are easier to clean because there's just not many things to clean in there, uh, except for the emulsion tube and a couple other things. But generally they're really, really nice to fly. Uh, they're really smooth, they're very fuel efficient, and what's really nice about the fuel delivery is that it removes the instabilities that you have in a diaphragm car. So like in a Walboro car, if you have jumps in different parts of the RPMs on different engines and uh, generally most flow bulk car positions don't have that. So let me show you that. Right now I'm flying just a cruise and it's flying great. It's holding the RPM steady and I can just keep slowly adding more and more and more thrust. And pretty much no matter what RPM I give it, it holds that RPM steady. That's great. So let's do a full power climb. <laughs> and it's pretty bonkers. Uh, that's to be expected. The 202 is, again, water-cooled, high compression engine. So it's quite powerful. Uh, other things that are nice is, compared to other engines that are about the size and this power level, this actually does not have too much torque, which is great. We can tune most of it out on the frame. I mean, with any engine, uh, there's going to be residual torque at full power, always, and uh, there's only so much you can do. But cruise, this flies completely stable. Climb out, it flies completely stable. Full power, it will obviously have torque. And uh, there's multiple torque components as well. So, um, who's this engine for? This engine is great for anybody who's flying at altitude. I would say 200 pounds, and if you're like above 5,000 feet, then this would be very helpful. So I'm at sea level, this is way too much power for me. For me, a Moser is too much power, uh, especially with a 140 prop. Uh, I weigh 180 pounds, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, we're literally at sea level. You can see all around there's water, so. All right, so who else is this engine for? Uh, there's actually a few applications that are, it's really nice for. Uh, one is cross country, so if you need to fly efficiently for uh, long distances and sip fuel, this is a great choice for you. It's also an engine for somebody who's flying really hot spicy wings that are very fast, that uh, require a lot of power. So even if you're pretty light, flying a small wing, overloaded, uh, then you definitely could use the benefit that the power gives you. I lost all my buddies, I don't see them. Oh, nope, I didn't lose him, I found him. Yeah. 
so fun. this engine to be quite a bit more unmanageable and difficult to fly and uh, that certainly turned out to be not the case it is uh, really smooth it doesn't torque that much and it flies like a dream and it, res it responds to your throttle inputs incredibly well it holds rpm exactly where you put it i fancy it a lot with a three blade prop i have a 140 two blade prop in the car, but I've been really enjoying flying it with the 133 blade, and I'm working with E-props right now to get a 140 centimeter three blade uh, shipped to me, which does not exist yet. So we'll have a new prop to play with, and assuming that it works and is the right pitch, I'll be able to offer them on the machines. All right, so. Ali Jiu 2, highly recommend. It's a great freaking engine. I'm really excited to offer him on Irish Pair Motors finally. Uh, some things changed. We are no longer a Viterazzi distributor officially. However, Irish Pair Motor is a Viterazzi dealer. So we will be selling uh, Viterazzi engines and all the spare parts just like we were before. But we can explore other engine options. Even though the focus is still primarily on Viterazzi because that's what most people fly. Um, yeah. You know, we'll be able to explore other engines and try new things and uh, see what we like. 